Hey y'all, I'm Drake and this is Drake Makes Art. So it's time for Art Vitar week four, and that means that it's time to master airbending. And to do that, I have decided I'm going to dive into spray paint art. Um, I've never done that before, I've never made stencils, I've never done spray paint before, but I think it's going to be a fun way to really capture the essence of airbending because, I mean, that's kind of like airbending, right? Like, I'm controlling the paint by controlling the air coming out of the spray can, and airbending is just controlling the air, so airbending is spray paint art. I think that's about the closest I'm going to get, like, here in the real world to actual airbending. So let's get started. Before I got into the actual airbending this week, I wanted to prime my canvas with a blue circular gradient. And though I know it doesn't look like it on camera, there was a very slight gradient by the time I finished blending. Next, I hopped into Illustrator to create my stencil. I took this image from the scene in the finale where Aang is talking to the past avatars, traced it with vector paths, and picked which sections I wanted to be black and which I wanted to remain blue. Then came the tricky part of dividing the stencil up into a series of smaller sections. But when I finally arrived at a configuration I thought would work, it was time to go outside and start airbending. So here is the final result. You know, I am really happy with the way this one turned out. I think it might be my favorite of all the pieces that I've made so far. Um, it does have its flaws, you know, like his arrow is a little wonky, but um, I went back off camera and did a couple touch-ups to kind of like fix up the seams that you could kind of see. You know, if I had to do this over again, I think I would maybe try to print the stencil on sticker paper and then stick that to the canvas so that like I'm not having to deal with multiple stencils. The issue with the stencils is that like little spaces like this where like I've got a little space that's supposed to be blue surrounded by black, I have to split that area into two separate stencils so that there's always an edge touching the edge of the stencil. Otherwise, like, I don't have a way to hold that piece of paper in place while I spray paint over it. Um, I hope that makes sense. But if I did that with sticker paper, I could actually just stick it to the paper, spray paint over it, and then peel the paper off and it would still be there. Um, so if I have to do this again, I think I might try to do that. I did enjoy the process. I've never used stencils, but, I mean, other than, like, children's stencils, you know. But, uh... I enjoyed this process. I think making stencils might be my new favorite thing. Like that was a really fun process going through all of that. But uh, yeah, so thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, I hope you'll hit the like button and subscribe to see more content like this. And uh, I'll see you next time when we make something new. Bye.